The ideas expressed in the following presentations are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views of ACI or its committees. ACI web sessions are recorded at ACI conventions or other concrete industry events and will be made available for viewing free of charge for one week. Thereafter, they will be archived on the ACI website or added to ACI's online CEU program depending on their content. You can earn continuing education credits through ACI's online CEU program. Visit www.concrete.org to register. ACI conventions provide an opportunity for networking and for keeping up to date with the latest in concrete technology and practices. Our next speaker is Professor Mitsunori Kamura. He's all the way came from Japan and uh, he's a Professor Emeritus in Kanazawa University, Japan. Uh, he was here in 1972-74 in as a postdoctoral associate in School of Civil Engineering, Purdue University. Uh, he is working in the ASR field for the last 30 years. I welcome Professor Kamura. Mr. Chairman, thank you for your kind introduction. Now, uh, I'd like to make present presentation papers entitled Relations Between ASR Expansion and Average Water Content in Mortar Bath Exposed to Dry Ambient Atmosphere. It's been reported that relative humidity of ambient atmosphere greatly influences expansion in water by test. But understanding of water available for expansion in water is not sufficient. ASR expansion is caused by absorption of water by ASR gel. But water in concrete is strongly held by the cement phase phase, and so expansion doesn't always occur even if much ASR gel has been produced. Evaporable water content within mortar specimen in the dry atmosphere changes from central portion towards surfaces until equilibrium state will be attained. So moisture distribution within the specimen at a given time, a difference in different sizes of specimen. Hence, ASR extensions are also different in the different size specimen used. The object of this paper is to review relationship between critical average water content below which expansion don't occur and equilibrium water content in mortar but exposed to ambient atmosphere with various value of relative humidity. Using the relationship, we also discuss what part of the evaporable water in concrete ASR gel can absorb. Reactive aggregate used a uh, calcium flint, which was produced by Rafael Seven Company. The dissolved second reduction alkalinity for the reactive aggregates are provided in this slide. It's found from the data that the aggregate was very reactive. Sodium hydroxide was added at a docile level of alkalis equivalent to one point two percent in cement according to JIS standard. Motor specimens, one inch by one inch by ten inches for measuring expansion, are uh, made by using the mold fabricated according to ASTM standard. Motor bath were initially stored over water in the seal container maintained at 40 degrees centigrade until their expansion reached approximately 0.1%. When about 0.1% expansion attained, four set of motor specimen are exposed to dry atmosphere over four different saturated salt solutions of sodium chloride, ammonium sulfate, potassium chloride, and potassium nitrate 
corresponding to about 75, 80, 82, and 90% RH at the temperature of 40 degrees centigrade. Expansion tests are also conducted in the atmosphere of 70% RH, which was mechanical control. We calculate average water content of mortar by mortar bars by the use of the empirical method proposed by Hirstorf. I will I briefly refer to it in the next. Moisture in concrete is transported either in the form of vapor transmission and or liquid flow. So it's difficult to predict the water content distribution within the drying concrete body at a given time. So Hirstorf proposed the empirical approach. Equilibrium water content of cement paste WE in this slide at a given RH value can be estimated by equation one. Average water content WT at a given time is obtained by the use of these three equations, equation two to four. The de details of the calculation procedure are not differ in this presentation. Now I'd like to proceed to the result. First of all, I'll show you the change in average water content with time. I'll show in this slide, average water content with the motor were calculated by the use of the equation uh, plotted against time at RH value of 70, 75, 80, 82, and 90%. At the time of beginning of drying, that is to say seven days, evaporable water content of the motor bar was 217 kilogram per cubic meter. This is the initial water content of the motor. In this figure, equilibrium water content for various average value of the atmosphere are denoted with arrow. It's found from this figure that Average water content rapidly decreases with time during the first one month, followed by very slow reduction towards equilibrium water content. However, we should pay attention to the fact that average water content was still far greater than the equilibrium water content even after one month. This figure shows uh, net expansion curves in motors at various RH values. The net expansion was obtained by the compensating expansion in the reactive aggregate motor for expansion of a shrinkage in the non-reactive aggregate motors. As seen this years, motors rapidly expanded with time at RH value greater than 80%. Even at 75% RH, Motors expanded after about two months at a considerable rate, but at 70% RH, motors little expanded after about 100 days, and the after expansion about 0.1% occurred. The motors in 70% RH atmosphere cracked about 100 days, and so the abrupt increase in expansion appears to relate the cracking. It's seen this figure that an apparent critical relative humidity below which expansion didn't occur was between 70, 70 and 75 percent. This slide shows uh, average of the content versus expansion relations at various value of our age. This figure, equilibrium of the content of the motors for various value of RH are pointed by dotted lines with arrow between about 70 and 100 kilogram per cubic meter. Please pay attention to the expansion at the average of the content of 130 kilogram per cubic meter. It's found from this figure that expansion at the given average of the content drastically decreased with decreasing relative humidity. After the commencement of drying, water gradually dissipated from mortar. So moisture distribution within the mortar was at a given average water content 
different in different ambient atmosphere. Hence, the sensitive response of expansion to relative humidity indicates that expansion motor valves are very sensitive to moisture distribution within specimen at a given average water content. Then it presumes that the sensitive response of expansion to the relative humidity has something to do with the fact that vapor absorption of ASR gel drastically increased the increasing relative humidity over about 80% average. But internal stresses induced in the motor but should be taken into account in this discussion as well. It's also found from this figure that expansion increased to the decreasing average water content up to 155 kilogram per cubic meter at 90% RH and up to 130 kilogram per cubic meter at other average values. Please pay attention to sick arrows in these figures. Expansion tended to terminate at about 130 kilogram per cubic meter of average water content in the average value of 82, 80, and 75 percent and about 155 kilogram per cubic meter in 90 percent RH. These results mean that, for example, at the relative humidity of 80 percent, the motor contained about 140 kilogram per cubic meter of evaporable water, but only about 90 kilogram per cubic meter of the water were lost from the motors for period of the beginning of the drying to the termination of the expansion. Therefore, the amount of water lost by the time of termination of expansion is found to be a part of the amount of the water lost by the time of attainment of the even water content, that is to say, about 140 kilogram per cubic meter. Here, it's significant to know from what size pores in motors water begins to evaporate in more atmosphere with R8 values ranging from 70 to 90 percent. We calculate the size of pores in the cement space phase from which water begins to evaporate at these R8 value at 40 degrees centigrade by the use of Kelvin equation shown in this slide where uh, P by P0 is the relative humidity and R is the radius pores from which water begins to evaporate at the relative humidity. The critical pore size is calculated, uh, provided in this slide. It's found from these results that the critical pore size is that these R value range from about 5 to 17 nanometer. According to the classification of pores in the cement paste in a book by Mendes and Young, a critical pore size of 5.4 nanometer of 10 for 17 percent R8 belong to gel pore designated as small capillary in the book. Hence, sizes of the pores in which water was held at a threshold average value between 70 and 75 percent are found to be in the transition range of gel to capillary pores. As stated previously, large amount of evaporable water remained even at the time of termination expansion. Therefore, ASR expansion motors were generated by absorbing water in the relatively large capillary pores. This result suggests that Pore size distribution influence ASR expansion in concrete. The result obtained in this study is summarized as follows. The first, an apparent critical area to be humidity below which expansion didn't occur was between 70 and 75 percent expansion test conducted by the use of the ASTM motor bars. The second, the expansion was very sensitive to moisture distribution within the mortar burst. The third, ASR gel in mortar appeared to have expanded by absorbing water in relatively large 
Chapter 4. Thank you for your kind attention.